What a fabulous host city Minneapolis has been. We'll bring it inside this magnificent new stadium, just a couple years old. And we get ready now with tonight's officials, Gruber, Stevens, and Weimer, and our officials sitting courtside, Gene Steratore, on a needed basis. First time in 40 years that both teams are first time participants in the championship game. Sit back and enjoy. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of defense. No two better at it than the two that made it to the final. Both solid that end of the floor. It's basketball's greatest night. And we are underway on Championship Monday. Jim Nance, Grant Hill right now. Virginia goes a little. Bit of it. A little motion to start. Of course, Texas Tech, Texas, Texas Tech has to attack this zone, not settle for jump shots. All movement, player movement, and get into the paint against this defense. Interesting, they've got Clark or Mooney to start this game. Mooney coming off a season tying best 22 in the win against Michigan State. He's got a big size advantage in that matchup of guards. And that is dangerous in a tough shot by cover. Well, oh. contested. And that, he had a lot of hang time on that shot because it was so contested. And here comes Virginia at this end. Finishing with Mooney, he can post up, and that could be dangerous for Clark. Gets in that lane. Nice and easy. Nothing in a hurry, Grant. Nothing in a hurry at all. Texas Tech, they will switch everything. Virginia has to value the basketball against this pressure defense. Already getting deflections, which is what they do. Down to five to shoot. Jerome gives it up. Hunter with the guy. one. Floats in and misses the layup. That's the guy, though. He's got to attack. Get an offensive mode of thinking. Well, they waited late in the shot clock and got a great look. Fifth year senior and captain, Odio Say, gives it up to Mooney. The yeah, Akita can really help because Odio is the offensive rebounder and screener. You can assist off him. They're down to six to shoot. Moretti in the paint, puts it up high, and out to Clark it comes. And two great defensive possessions by Virginia, forcing the Red Raiders into tough shots. But he was big in that presentation. Same kind of philosophy. Use those bumps. Keep busy. This kid can find people. Good pass. Oh, the Akite off the Jerome assist. He really understands the game. Great little dump off. Leading assist man in the ACC. Getting one for the first bucket in the final. Diakite has just come on so big in the tournament. Moretti. That was a three attempt to spun out. And he is so important. Not, has to knock down shots. Didn't play well Saturday. Let's hit those open opportunities when he gets them. This is the guy who's got unlimited range. Picture perfect jump shot guy. Over with the assignment, too. He's going to be busy. He has to attack here. Can't settle. Got Mooney on him. Jumper over him. And Hunter's had a couple of looks. I like that mid post on both sides for him. Here's Culver. Gets around Jerome. Floats in. And it spins off the rim. But he'll shoot a couple. He is so quick off the bounce. I like how he avoided the charge opportunity by Clark, but Culver at his best, slashing, getting to the rim, drawing fouls, getting to the free throw line. Now on Clark. Culver, the Big 12 player of the year, second team All-America, hometown kid right there in Lubbock. When he gets involved, this kid is dynamite. He'll be really active, assert himself, can have a big impact on this game. His father, Hiawatha, is the team chaplain and the minister at Rising Star Baptist in Lubbock. And his brother, Trey, is already a two-time national champion, having won the NCAA indoor high jump title a couple of times. I spoke to him yesterday. We asked him who the best athlete in his family was. He said his brother. His brother, Trey. Owens is still on the floor. And make a, a sub here. They Francis trade out Odiose, and they bring in Francis. Well, I think it's to match the small lineup of Virginia. Put Culver on Hunter, that matchup right there. Of course, Francis will get some of Hunter as well. Perhaps see anything with Owens early? No, no, he seems pretty mobile. They try to cut on him here, Guy. He ran out in the introductions. This is the kid's going to get opportunities. He's got to be patient and comfortable. They're going to lay off him and help on others. Francis comes right in and pulls down a rebound. 
Brent's one of those guys that cuts well, always seems to get free. Oh, not a good. Tough pass by Mooney, but touch last by Virginia. And that's Virginia's what they're going to do, I think, put Mooney in there on Clark. Well, Virginia's so good at helping in the post defense, right? They're going to trap and double team and rotate. Of course, you got to make sure you make good passes into Texas outside of those Texas Tech, out of those double teams. Here's another big body coming in for Coach Tony Bennett. Braxton Keith, actually the leading rebounder, even if done not a starter. 6'8 junior out of Charlotte who began his college career at Alabama. And also great at picking up charges and offensive rebounds in particular. Mooney. Loves that lane. Guy wouldn't let him go there. Culver working on Hunter. One to shoot on the run. He has to put it up. Got the rim but pulled down by Hunter. Get ready folks. You're going to see a lot of late shot clock situations. Texas Tech without a field goal the first three and a half. Jerome got him to commit, puts it up, back of the rim. Tapped by Diakite, but right into the hands of Mooney. Looks around for numbers, finds a slashing Culver, and he got hit on the way up. A nice challenge. Jerome disarmed in the rim, but anytime you get opportunities on either team, you've got to seize them. Open floor, good run, and a really good decision here in the challenge right away. Foul on Jerome. Over right back to the line. <laughs> Celebrate the 2019 National Championship win with officially licensed locker room tees, hats, and more. All your team apparel and accessories. Head to NCAA.com slash shop. The big, big thing, Brian, I think, is making plays at the end of the shot clock. Do you have guys that can do that on either side? Well, I think for Texas Tech, they, they have to, that last possession, get the ball out after May the mix, mixes and get down the court before that defense sets up. There you see in the middle his family, his father, Hiawatha, mother, Regina, brother, Trey, and his fourth attempt already in this game. And he's hit three out of four. And where's that football shirt? You're going to have a little extra on your side, huh? A little divine intervention? Yes. Pull up for you? Teams are combined just one out of nine from the floor in the first four minutes. Everything hard-earned. They've got Owens down. And that ball tipped by Moretti, which then glanced off the fingers of Kyle Guy. It'll be Red Raider basketball after the under-16. Just what we expected we have seen in the first four minutes of action. Check this out. The defenses, their opponents combined season scoring average. Texas Tech, opponents average nearly 80. Virginia 75. In the tournament, look what they've allowed. <laughs> In fact, Virginia did not allow a single opponent this season, not once, to reach its season scoring average. They were held below every time. And Dick Bennett is here tonight, Tony's father, who led Wisconsin to the Final Four in 2000. He's had trouble with just being able to attend the game, just get so worked up, so anxious about it. He was at the regional in Louisville, both games, did not come Saturday, he stayed in the hotel here in Minneapolis, but he's here today. He's the architect of this defense. My father couldn't go to the games either, but for a different reason. <laughs> he knew the outcome. <laughs> a lot of motion, a lot of activity. I think both teams are going to have to dribble drive, create a pinch, and then a fine. Culver had a good look. Along with it, Virginia so good, not allowing you in that paint right there, forcing you to take and make contested jump shots. Guy's got to get busy, Jim. He's been standing a little bit. He lulls and then moves. Here's a lull, sometimes a spurt. There's that charge. They do a great job. You got a jump stop. And I think Mama D's got to play within himself. That's not his game, taking the ball off the bounce from the three point line. Already steps right in there. Help defense we talked about in the opening, taking the charge. That's Chris Beard basketball right there at his best. And all the hands that are in there. Did you see Owens also is about to take the ball out of his hands anyway. They are so active. They really react to the ball, no question about it. Big show. Owens got to be a little more mobile, I think. Mooney still haven't hit a shot from the field. The nice. Red Raiders. Nice rebound. All the way to the other side, back to him. And stolen away by Guy, who's barely touched the basketball, but a beautiful defensive gem right there. And Jim, you had three guys converge there on that drive. Help defense at its best. 
Owens on him. Can't give him space. Owens with that big range. They usually challenge everything, but guy can break it down with the best of them. Dump, repin. This is a big lineup now for Virginia. Let's see if they ride it. That puts Hunter at the three. Owens with a three. And it is Key who pulls it away. One and done. You've got to get possessions. Now six minutes, Bill, without a basket for Texas Tech. 0 for 7 from the field. He's standing quite a bit. Jerome, runner. Tapped out it. by Diakite. Swing it to the corner. Jerome got the three. They do make the extra pass. You forget how Jerome can stick that deep on Grant. There's so many other little things. Great shot fake side step three. Yeah. Shouldn't they get Francis attacking a little bit out here? Oh, what a move to the lane. <laughs> and no whistle. Wow. What an aggressive move. They converge on Culver up ahead. Back outside to Hunter. It's another three on the way. And the pace picking up. They've been waiting for him to come out of that shell. Over the lobs good, and good luck. Great help side defense. Not sure Owens is up to it tonight to take those kinds of passes. Nice pass. Oh, oh, Throws the Jerome at his best, giving it up, setting it up for the alley oop, and Texas Tech has its biggest tournament deficit. Down six, seven nothing run by the Cavaliers. AT&T takes us above the rim. Grab something a little unusual. Virginia forcing turnovers, getting out on the break. Great decision right here. Jerome takes his time, baits the defense, ah! finds the open key for the slam dunk. And what a tremendous finish inside. I tell you, Virginia's pace right now. And of course, Ty Jerome leading this team, scoring and facilitating has Virginia in control. Are you slanderizing the pace? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you get an open opportunity, he's your team, you got to seize it. Nice little fade screen. Mooney, look, look at this corner. cover. Moretti on a wing, and finally, the Red Raiders have a basket. Now you can't leave him alone. Ask Gonzaga, this kid really, an angle jumper, able to nail him. First field goal comes seven minutes and 22 seconds into the game. Edwards on the floor now. Drives it left pretty good. Right now, they've, they've upped the intensity defensively, making life uncomfortable on the offensive end for the Cavaliers. That's what the Red Raiders have to do. This is where Saul can do a good job bumping and getting to the rim. Here's Guy. Got the separation. Wow. Hits two the shot. Two. Yep, that's a two. He was trying to step back and make it a three, but foot on the line. You know, he's got so many similarities to me to Jerry West, the way he springs in the air and goes as high as he has. The nice attack over. Over. Tip no. Tapped out to Hunter. Well, he's a finalist for that Jerry West. Shooting guard award. Uh, appropriate so. How about that? Big shoes right there, Coach. I bet. The logo. <laughs> Screen roll. He can back in. This is very, this is his game right here. And a foul call. Said it best, Raph. Hunter not settling, attacking off the dribble. But Kyle Guy. What a fantastic move. That looked a little bit like Jerry West, although he went left. Oh, a little step back. Kyle Guy continues with his hot ways from downtown. While we were away, Virginia picked up another point. They reviewed this. And Kyle Guy's right foot was an inch behind the circle. Jim, it looked like initially he was on the line and then had the presence of mind to move it back. Great photo, great camera work there. Kyle Guy just knocking down a tough shot. That's not an easy shot no. right there. Step back three. Test it too. Maybe this gets Hunter on track too. Makes a couple of these, gets back in the game. Texas Tech 
And you see the tournament summary trying to become the second all time team joining Villanova 85 to beat four opponents that were a one or a two in the same tournament. Virginia it's the other story would be the second team since 79 to never face a one or a two. Our old way to pal. a championship if, if it wins. Our old pal Rowley. Uh, Coach yeah, Bass. Bass. Yes, Got to be in the Hall of Fame. Absolutely. Spacing and trying to dribble drive. I like to see a little more ball screens up here and then rescreen again. Well, they're doing a great job covered. Mooney, time to shoot over Hunter. Tough shot again against a bigger Hunter. It's an old seven point lead. 11 3 stretch it is for Virginia. See if they can get Hunter involved a little bit. I like him in the post now. Diakite will try it from the outside, and he hits it. And he's been hitting that shot all tournament. Hit the shot of that game winner, yes, sir. Absolutely. His confidence at an all-time high. Big-time tie goal. But right now, Texas Tech just cannot score. They can't find a scoring opportunity. That guy should be on the floor. And I like that last play, attacking that, that pressure. Diakite, Diakite facing up, a little jab step. Shooting that with confidence right there, and he's been a stabilizing presence and their most consistent player throughout this tournament run. After hitting the shot, the game time shot against Purdue, he came back to class in Charlottesville, got a standing ovation when he walked into his French class on Monday. I used to get one when I showed up. <laughs> <laughs> you can relate, huh? Uh, Diakite is an excellent student. The Bleacher Report app connects you to the moments that matter faster. Follow your friends and give your take on highlight scores and more. Download the BR app today. Well, do you think they say five languages? Five Jim? languages. And uh, so well spoken, talking about his family. His dad's a pharmacist back in Guinea. His mom's a doctor. And he pulls down the rebound. Nearly has it taken away as Edwards reached in there with the fast hands. And setting up a little, trying to speed the game up. They just have great cruise control, Virginia. Look at Clark go by, passed up the shot, gave it to Hunter. He gets blocked by Culver, follows up and rejected by Owens. A third time will send him to the line. Well, that tells you about the ankle. Owens, it's the high. They got a foul at the end of this, but magnificent. What resiliency this kid has. Big time. Led the Big East in blocks two years in a row. Big time factor. Great extension. Great piece of officiating as well. Not responding. Or anticipating. That's the first on Owen, so Hunter right back to the line. I actually like that for Hunter getting into the paint, getting to the free throw line, seeing the ball go through the basket can get him going. So important for this team. They're playing well in spite of him getting into the rhythm. He told us yesterday, DeAndre, that he thought this team would remind him a lot of what it was like playing against Florida State and Virginia Tech in their league. And, and I happen to watch that Florida State game. The difference is the length of Florida State. Ten point lead now. Look at this show and in the back. Great scramble. Red, Red Raiders only one out of 11 from the floor. Try it from long distance and get it. Francis with points off the bench. He can make it 33% from deep. Good at putting it on the deck as well. This is where they got to tee it up a little bit. Be patient defensively. Don't gamble. Jerome soars in, loops it up, and is pulled down by Tariq Owens. Edwards pushes it ahead. Top of the key, he wants it. And he gets it. He can make them. And Edwards and Francis giving a big lift off the bench. They did it Saturday, coming in with so much confidence, knocking down perimeter shots. Got some offense here. Guy. Diakite yeah, comes over and taps it over to Clark. Jerome floats another one, this time high off the glass. And that's not an easy shot right there, but he makes it look easy. 
Diakite oh, made that, though. There were three Red Raiders there for the rebound. And he's just able to get a fingertip and tap it out to Clark. As he did with that missed free throw, too. Exactly. Save the season. Yep. Nice cover by Guy. Opens Another open shot. shot. Oh, things are warming up. Francis again. It's that ball screen. The roll you cover to protect. The kick to the wing. You just can't recover in time. Two run for the Red Raiders. Hunter, that's a two short. And Francis is doing a lot off the bench. Out of La Romana, Dominican Republic, where they're all watching the game. Second foul, two on Diakite. Not a smart play. You know Virginia likes to hard hedge on screen and roll. And that weak side's going to be open. And Brandon Francis, with confidence, knocks it down. Getting to the championship game with the five wins by a 14-point average. Chris Beard mentioned it the other day. He was a student manager for Tommy Penders at Texas. But Tommy, I talked to him yesterday, 650 wins, by the way. Uh, he said he was much more than that. He was like an assistant, broke down film and everything. And he got a call from Bob Knight one time because he was looking at Beard as a possible assistant. He says, tell me about him. And he says, he's as loyal as they come, Bobby. He says, that's all I need to know. Any higher to praise because Tommy put it on so well when he was in New York, particularly at Columbia. And he worked with this team on his shooting. He's taking credit for Moretti. I tell you, I think his father's going to take credit. <laughs> well, the shooting has worked five for nine from the three point line, has their team back in the game. And this is without Culver contributing 0 for 4. From 10 down to tied, just like that, in a little more than two minutes. Up on the floor now, guy that can do some damage outside and in. Shot blocker as well. Die. Some thought he traveled. Nice Suspense in air. Yes, what a hang it was. A little globy maneuver. A little ball fake reverse. I like the adjustment Chris Beard made. He's going small here. A lot of screen and roll spreading the floor, knowing that Virginia is so good on helping on that roll. Guys are stepping up and knocking down their threes. Kite with the two. That's why Huff is out there also. Same play. Good call, Brad. Owens! Cover with the pocket pass. Owens! Are you worried about the ankle? No kidding. How Goodness. is he doing it? Woo. That was the first points in the paint for the Red Raiders, and it was uh, an emphatic dunk. There's that little zone look. And they switch late in the set to a little man to man. Can't forget where Guy is in this look either. Hoff, he can make it. Yes, he can. Not this time. But Jerome gets a chance from the corner. And that one's long also. Two good looks. Edwards getting down the floor. His speed is okay for them. They're getting to their set, but that's a tough shot. Over. Tapped around and picked up by Jerome. They are wonderful, the guards. They're just keeping it alive for somebody else to seize. Guy. That's the, steps up free throw line and again they're long. That's the problem with the zone though. You can hit that crack and get an open look like that. They dodge one. So much for stretching out these possessions. This game's opened up. <laughs> it's not Loyola uh, very about yet. Not yet, yet but <laughs> more than some thought as Edwards will head to the line for a couple. Boy, has he played confidently. Let's take a look at enhanced stats developed with Google Cloud. Virginia just third lowest percentage as far as turning the ball over 13 percent. Less than 10 a game, which is amazing. Of course, we had a shot of his dad before. Taught him so much about the defensive end, the schemes, that pack line. Uncle Jack here has won NCAA championships as well. You know the scouting report against that pack line defense. You got to knock down jump shots. That'll that'll be open. Texas Tech has done that. Salt for Huff, Corpru in for the first time for Texas Tech, and Mooney back on the floor. And that screen and roll defense is giving some trouble for Virginia. You wonder if they make an adjustment. Those hard hedges, what they're known for doing. It's causing some rotation problems and giving up those open threes. And Owens tightens the shoelaces on that tender ankle. He looks good right now running. 
<laughs> Tell you what, the way he defends is so important in their philosophy. 11 points off the bench by the Red Raiders. Clark, look at Owens. Almost fly and press row. This is his post up now. Guy. That's a Jagger. traveling call. Nice. And how about Owens closing out on Guy and still able to recover, forcing a turnover by Kyle Guy, something you're not accustomed to seeing. They ran out the wing. Mooney really did a great job as well. He thought he had a passing lane on the wing, and Mooney steps out there, takes it away. Sometimes you can't diagram defensively. It's just effort and hard work there on the defensive end. I think he can elevate now. This is what they would like, I think. Mooney's jumper goes his first points of the night. That's a tough match for Clark, and he's really good getting a little deeper and knocking it down. You can't double team him there at the free throw line. No. Oh, something was thrown onto the floor. Patience took his time, froze him a little bit, elevated right over top of Clark. And that man right there reacting <laughs> like a touchdown he might have yeah. thrown. He's got some moves <laughs> off the floor as well. Oh, nice to see a, an athlete that's got some motion. <laughs> <laughs> well, he knows a lot of the senior guys on the Texas Tech basketball team, especially Odiase, who they used to. Um, Play some pickup games on campus. Odi oh, say he was pretty good at basketball. Said he he thought that that Patrick averaged like 25 points a game in high school. <laughs> Did you play any other sport? No, just basketball. What about you? That's a shame. You should have tried one you would become good at. <laughs> <laughs> Salt the screener. Hunter really looking as you mentioned earlier. Settled deep. Far side. It goes to Clark. Puts it up for three. He can bite you. Kid is a tough-minded youngster. It's a very quiet jumper, but effective when he gets that chance. A lot of people will let him beat you, not others. It's a gamer. Double up on Mooney. Corpru. That was a great block out there by Salt. Corpru, one of those guys that grind there. Under four, first half, tech by one. 11 to two in the bench points. That's all Edwards and Francis coming in. They changed all the momentum because they couldn't hit a basket at the first seven and a half minutes, didn't make a field goal. And Jim has been all screen and roll, rotations not on point, open jump shots from downtown. Of course, if you don't rotate, that man Owens with the easy finish. And here we go. Look at this, Grant. First 722. 0 for 8 from the field. And now since that time, 7 out of 12. And again, that's the guys off the bench really starting to fight the spark. Well, they both can drive and make threes, the two guys you were alluding to, Edwards in particular. But it's interesting to do a middle ball screen, which is really tough to cover. Then he do a side one, and it wasn't covered well by Virginia either. During that timeout, this is Owens just keeping that right foot stretched out. They had him up, they had the, on Saturday night, they had a trainer come in, they set an alarm. Every two hours, they would come in and give him treatment on that ankle, trying everything they could in desperation to get him back within 48 hours. Got to use Hunter a little bit more. I love him on that elbow. Here he is out, let's see if he can do some damage. Hunter's jumper. Been a struggle for him from the field. Take it a little deeper. Over to Tracy. Well, guys, that's exactly what Tony Bennett said in the huddle offensively. He wants DeAndre Hunter to get in the paint. Defensively, he said, we need to be on the ball, quick to the shooter, always be good with your press attack. He said it's a possession game. Get good luck, get some stops. And as for Chris Beard, he just reminded his team, we have three fouls to give, no easy baskets. Hunter is 0 for 7 from the floor. Culver on the other side is 0 for 5. Nice entry. Salt puts it. Look at the help. Took one dribble. Maybe he didn't need to because it looked like it was wide open for him. And Owens on the back side. Threw him off. Step back. Francis. Oh, wow. Ooh. That kid right there is so confident. Started his career at Florida. Long ago, he was 
Billy Donovan's last recruit. And after Billy left, well, he decided he wanted to transfer. Ended up in Lubbock. Been a big boost. Oh, from the there corner, go. that's Guy. You just can't close out on him. You got it. Take away all his space. Make him put it on the deck. A little pin down the similar thing. A little deeper now. That's what you like. This is his game. Back outside with it. Oh, we just can't get on track. Moretti. Nice oh, play. Oh. <laughs> Lands hey. on him. Ciao, baby. We're talking about the second best free throw shooter in the nation going to the line. Well, he had two great plays right there. A nice little hesitation to freeze the defender. Then he got to the rim. Nice little ball fake. Drawing the foul. So smart. First on Salt. Moretti is close to automatic, as you'll find. 92.2%. Plus the top three-point shooter in the Big 12. Tomorrow on CBS, don't miss the series premiere of The Code. Tomorrow after NCIS, only CBS. And congratulations to Davide Moretti, who on Thursday night at the NCAA salute before a packed house was given from President Mark Emmert of the NCAA the Elite 90 award for the top scholar athlete Pretty of the impressive. four teams here. Under 20 Italian team, of course, just went and watched him in Germany. Terrific performer, really knows the game, a little action top. Key back on the floor, guy left open, can't do that, but he's along with it. Clark, nice pass, nice hustle by Mooney, though. Oh, saves him, but they got it wrong, I thought. I think they did get it wrong, yeah, I thought Mooney. it went off of Mooney. Nice cover. They say it's off Hunter. Well, Virginia is great saving possessions with that back tap, aren't they? That six offensive rebounds thus far, but Matt Mooney, that little V back right there was fantastic. That's the extra effort and desire defensively that he's all about. Edwards on the floor, very good going left with the bounce. They do a great job flash screening. 46% from three, but off on that one. Under two minutes to go in a good first half. Virginia led one time by 10. This is a pretty good matchup now, size wise, I think, for Virginia. A lot more motion, maybe. Can't break through with the bounce. Clark driving in and a reach in. No easy baskets. Trace reported that. For both teams, everything contested. It'll be the second on Moretti. And back on the floor comes Francis after just a brief break. Knowing the way you operate, Jim, I'm sure you got his phone number when you're traveling <laughs> in Italy or in your home countries. I'd like to go over there and see his dad's ball club play in Siena, one of my favorite towns. He's a coach there. Here's Hunter. Can he get a first one? Yes, his first from the field. That's yeah. the spot on the floor, Jim. He is dynamite, I think. I love he didn't settle, though, Coach. He attacked, got it to the paint for the easy two. Right now, Texas Tech has four guys who can create off the bounce. But he's got to give it up and then make get a cut and a screen. Over. No Looked ball. Looks like contact. Great reaction defensively as well with the challenge. Forget guy with the over help. Key dribbling around. This is the shot on the far side. But he could have used his left hand a little bit there. Exactly. He's well balanced, right? But he tripped. Owens oh, really a factor offensively. Mooney's been quiet. Just two points. Two on him. Look at the help. Seven to shoot. Owens takes the baseliner. And Culver tapped it out. Virginia can take the last shot. Coming up, AT&T at the half. The guys will have all the first half highlights and analysis coming up on AT&T at the half. We'll take Culver out for this defensive trip and bring back. Oh, hold on. Yep. Odiose is on the floor for him. 
and know, know your assignments now, know who you're guarding, what they're capable of. You want to keep Jerome out of the lane and tag Guy in particular on those baseline bumps. Virginia get the ball to Hunter at that elbow. I like that play for him. Rudy can really rag you. Jerome driving. Outside he goes with it. Hunter with four. Plenty of time. Jerome, top of the key. Played to perfection. Big time. Dribble drive and fine. Once again, Jerome. Maybe the best trip down the floor. Beautiful, as you mentioned, use of the shot clock. Dribble drive, all the attentions on the baseline. And just get the puppies organized. From Iona Prep in New Rochelle. 45 minutes from Broadway. Bang! <laughs> Over to Tracy. Well, thanks a lot, Coach. You had the 10-point lead, and Texas Tech able to get back in it with those threes defensively. How do you have to adjust here? Well, a couple times we were slow to our closeouts, and they hurt us with some ball screen stuff. You know, both teams are playing so hard, so we just got to tighten up some things there. And again, uh, everybody's battling, and possessions matter. You have 20 minutes left, though, till a national championship. What does this come down to? Uh, you play the possession. We got to tighten some things up defensively, get back, and then move them. They're a great second half team, and uh, we have been too, so it's time to just get ready. Thanks a lot, Jim. Virginia closes with an 11 to 4 run. 32 29. Cavaliers at halftime. We'll send you to AT&T at the half after these messages. You're watching the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. Here's a look at our Reese's first half stats. Cal guys, 10 points leading the way for Virginia. Jerome with eight points. He goes over 1,000 points on his career. Texas Tech held to only 33% from the field in that first half. Well, thankfully for them, the bench came alive. Kyler Edwards and, of course, Brandon Francis came and gave some big shots. But I think Jared Culver, he's got to step up there in that second half for the Red Raiders. I think the key is Hunter and Culver. Who steps up? Let's experience every side of March Madness with Intel True View. And Brandon Francis, the ability to create his own shot. Nice little step back three, knocking it down. And on the other end, Ty Jerome doing everything. Hit that big three-pointer to go into halftime, but I love that he's been probing, he's crafty, he plays at his own little pace, finding the open man right here, dropping it off for Mamadi for the quick little jump shot. And of course, the patience, finding once again, key for the easy two. Ty Jerome doing it all for the Cavaliers. Tracy, over to you. Jim, Chris Beard said he felt Tariq Owens played with a lot of courage in that first half. He said he got a lot of treatment before the game, and he's very concerned how he's going to hold up down the stretch. He said we need to create more offense from our defense. Mooney, Culver, one for two, ten combined. They need to do more, he said, but we're only down three, and we haven't played great. Well, he's just Mr. Everything for Tech. Tops in points, rebounds, assists. He really struggled against Michigan State until the last two minutes. And again tonight, 0 for 6 from the field. But in crunch time, remember that? And they inched within a point, 52-51. Michigan State hit a bucket, later hit a three. It made a big difference as they blanked him the rest of the way. And underneath, and back outside with it. Guy, again, top score, now to 13. You cannot leave him. Goodness, number five. Put a rope around them. That was Ty Jerome. Ball fake, patience, swing, swing. You gotta stay in contact with that kid. He likes to manufacture the post up like this. It's hard against Hunter, who's got yep. such size and length. 7-4 yep. wingspan. Defensive player of the year in the ACC. On him now. Bounce pass. Tough oh. one to Owens, but the shot not there. The pass into the stands. He didn't look very mobile there at all. A little off his game. I think, he's gonna, I think he's going to come out. The great patience. Ty Jerome just finds the open man. Rotation. Mm -hmm. Can't leave the best shooter on Virginia wide open, but Jerome. It's going to be a one-man zone on that kid. You talk about his ankle, though. Jerome, I know a thing or two about ankles. In the halftime, that long delay tightens up. Yeah. Hunter. Slashing inside him. What a defensive play, but no, there's not actually. There's a foul call. And that's that ISO right at that elbow. He can go either way on the left elbow. He turns that corner either way. And on the right, he could dominate. This is a really good attack. Boy, pretty good reaction at the rim, too. 
Coach, I love it because he was decisive on that move. Didn't think about it. But good things will happen when you attack and, and go to the basket, get to the free throw line. Owens second. I mentioned ACC Defensive Player of the Year. Tony Bennett has seen a player from his team win that award in that conference for the last five years. I guess they concentrate on D. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> One of his guys is here tonight, Malcolm Brogdon. Yeah? Yeah. Atlanta kid, too, I think, right? Yeah. Having a heck of a career in the NBA. Surprised a lot of people. How about you? Not at all. I was surprised like, he didn't get picked higher. Right now, it's got to be Culver, but what, what awareness on him. Every time he puts the ball on the floor. Top shot. Look at Owens, though, aggressively. Get it back outside. And Hunter takes the long shot. Rebound, that is, after the air ball from the corner that was long. Well, you can't speed him up, not again. And that's <laughs> third on Owens. He's so like good. That. Two quick ones. Yeah, that's, that's what he does to you, though. He jars you because you know you got to get out and take away that shot. A terrific ball fake. Takes the contact. The only thing he didn't do is get rid of the ball. Maybe get a three-point shot, three-shot opportunity. So critical. Oh. So critical, coach. Yeah. <laughs> picky, picky. It takes Owens to the bench with the three fouls. Virginia threatening to go back up double digits. A, a tough match here, I think. Nice kick out. Mama D, wide of the mark. I think Hunter should have just tried to take his guy. No, he's unselfish. Culver now tries at long range. He can't get anything going. 0 for 8. And they Tech has gone dry from the floor. Going back to the late minutes of the first half. There's that little zone trying to trap it. Nice slip pass. Yeah, Kite is hammered. Yeah, there are a couple of players down on the floor, even away from the ball. And good things happen once again. DeAndre Hunter putting the ball on the floor, attacking right here, so unselfish. Avoids the charge, and nice little patience by Mama D to draw the foul. Udi says second. He's so good going left. Good size and strength. Just think what this guy at the line has done in this tournament. Become the starter, set new highs for rebounds. Had a couple with nine, then got up to an 11 rebound game, averaging about 14 a game. Career high five blocks in the win against Auburn. Really good footwork, too, on the ball screens. That's what I think they like the most about him. Speed, recovery. He didn't know Oscar Robertson, though, did he? He said I, he knew of Oscar. He said, I, I know he was someone very famous. Here's the look-alike. We said that a couple of weeks ago. Similarities. Not, this, not the same type of game, obviously. <laughs> Has a chance now to match the Wahoos' largest lead of the first half. Get it right back up to 10 again. And they are very difficult in front. Give credit to Tony Bennett. Made some adjustments in that ball screen defense. Texas Tech can't really get open here. Great opportunities. Francis comes in and provides more offense and energy. He's been tough, whether it's a deep or putting it on the deck and attacking. First basket in five and a half minutes, going back to the first half. Jerome got around the edge, but Culver doesn't let him go anywhere close to a shot range. Wait, circles back again. Culver Jump ties him up. Arrow goes to Tech. Thought he could put him away with it, but I just love this kid's personality, you know, just comes off that bench ready to provide a lift for his club. They sorely needed it, too. And Coach, I love right there, he had a big big guy on him, didn't settle, attacked him off the dribble, used his quickness to his advantage, got to the rim. So neighbors sent a video from outside the family home in Lower Romana. People were out celebrating their own homegrown contribution to college basketball. Great excitement about in playing for a championship. Here's Moretti on the run. They're very good penetrating and finding good glass shots he has as well. I think maybe Riley Mooney a little bit now, Grant. That mismatch just to get something going. Second on Guy. There, there they go. He'll find people, too. Good interior passing team. He'll take it. Might 
plenty of push off right here on key. And coach, you said it best. Mooney was baiting the double team. Knows UVA likes the double team. Created an open opportunity for Francis. One of the first threes he missed. He's staying on the glass, a little push off on the defensive rebound by Key. That's a Tavern League discard, by the way. <laughs> I know you're pure of heart. Oh. You got away with that. Bob it. Ooh. No one there. And they were trying to set up a post up for Mooney. Culver just not himself right now. This kid is very talented. Hasn't really shown it this weekend. Beard is going to check back in Owens on the next whistle. Edwards on guy now. He can't drift too much. They get it to Hunter. Off the glass. It's so, it's so simple, coach. It is. <laughs> He's so good. And what a nice little entry pass by number zero. And now Mooney, who's been quiet tonight. After a huge game against Michigan State. In the lane, it came out on Francis up ahead. Jerome wisely knows he doesn't have the numbers. This is where Jerome can back down if he gets the ball with the small Moretti on him. Hunter. Back out with a key. Hunter now working on the blocks. He can make that key. Key. Top of. Doesn't go. So him play at Alabama. He's got some talent, this kid. Make you use clock for shooting mistakes or quick on the floor with it. Now stuck needs help. Culver. Well, this is suffocating, isn't it, Grant? Tries to get on track and finally a shot from the floor goes on his ninth attempt. That's a good sign for the Red Raiders. Culver has to stay engaged, attacking the basket while his jump shot is not falling. This is Dan, this is a little zone look now. You gotta make sure you identify. Back to man now. Oh, Mooney almost got it with those quick hands. But Clark now. Ooh. Able to wiggle right around Culver, feed it back outside. Baseliner guy drops. Oh, you can't pinch. You gotta concentrate. Even if it's almost like a one-man zone, but the penetration set it up on a little guy. Individual skills are extraordinary on the defensive end for Virginia. Over. Jerome on him. Going in again, and maybe he's starting to heat up. And I like how he's not settling. Just making a decisive move, attacking on the baseline, away from the double team. Baskets the last two trips for Culver. Virginia likes to force middle. That's open, but no weak side attention. Clark driving off his knee. It'll be Texas Tech basketball out of the break. 14 minutes to go. Championship on the line in Minneapolis. Who wants it the most? Well, Culver now starting to get a little flow off a couple of baskets. Yeah, Jim, bright sign for Texas Tech. Culver getting to the rim. Not an easy play right there, but a great finish. And then a quick move baseline with the easy layup. Consecutive plays, oftentimes for a great player, just seeing the ball go through the basket and get your confidence going. Those individual offense is so important against the both defenses really help. You've got to really slice, protect the ball, get to the rim strong. And guy on the other end, boy, using screens, so intelligent his offensive approach. No surprise, no fast break points in this game. Hunter tagging it up with Culver. Great defensive player against a offensive mind. Tough shot. Edwards. And he gets the bounce. How about these kids off the bench? <laughs> He's just a freshman right there, but what confidence. And as you said, not an easy shot. He's got a nice pull-up game, though. He does, and Edwards and Francis with 18 combined. 18 of the 38. See if they get Hunter involved right at that foul line. Try to keep the heads from the ball. Under 10. They're comfortable, as you say. Low clock. Now with three. Hunter. Outside. Oh, there it is. 
Yes, boy, does that set up his ability to use the physique and attack the rim. He was two of his last 12 attempts from the three-point line coming in tonight. He knocks down a big one right there. Nice cut by Cooper, that free. Francis again, quick draw. Oh, he's something else. <laughs> and I'll tell you right now, if it wasn't for Francis and Edwards, it might be a blowout Say right now. Night, right? They're keeping their team in the game. No question, more than 50% of the points by those two off the bench. 21 of the 41. Led by Francis' 13 alone. Now Jerome pulls up and gets the bucket. This does what he has to do. Great feel for the game. We talked about Oscar. That was like Oscar right there. Just take your time, get to your spot. And elevate it and knock it down. Edwards and Francis, they've been the guys. Put it on the deck. Edwards driving in on Hunter. And outside there was contact. He hurt himself too, right? Yep, yeah. But that's the key against this defense. You have to have guys that can create their own shots. As Edwards goes to the rim, reach in by Clark, and it's like Edwards' right ankle there stepped on Hunter's toe. Second on Clark. And now Owens takes the floor. Owens with three points. That one basket from the floor of dunk, five rebounds, one block, and the three fouls. Key out for Diakite. Corpio on the floor now. Not bad coming off screens, making a jumper. And actually going to move Kihei Clark to the bench. I wonder with Owens back in the game, if they go back to some of that ball screen deep uh, offense. Well, he just can't get a break. Nice looking shot there for cover. Give credit to Hunter. He's done a fantastic job defensively on, on Culver tonight. Old defensive guy in that league. He's in the steady hands of Jerome, driving on Culver. See if Hunter takes Owens away from that post area. He Whips does. Over to Hunter. Got another one. Owens forgot. He doesn't want to go out there. Lumen large at the rim. Great read on the kick. Back up to nine. Culver swings it over. Key tries to save it. He's out of bounds. But Hunter with a big second half, just as he did against Auburn. And Jerome just takes his time, finds a wide open Hunter. He hit one earlier, knocks another one down, showing a little emotion. The Wahoos getting a lot of their production out of these three. Guy, Hunter, Jerome, 40 of the 50 points. Now this guy has really stepped up, all of a sudden showing his outstanding ability. Tacked in, making shots. This guy could make some shots too. He sure could. Alf Sampson, uh, three-time college player of the year. And I just love, we saw him early the first week of the tournament, coming back and supporting. Like what Magic does for Michigan State, right in the middle of it all, take every picture, sign every autograph, be around the team, it's awesome. Grant could learn from it. <laughs> That's right. He's good too. Tracy. <laughs> Jim, during that timeout, Chris Beard telling his team, you got to play discipline. You got to guard early. You got to make a play. If you take a bad shot, you have to get back. He wrote down Virginia's three best players 12, 5, 11. And he said, we have to play with urgency. He said, you've waited your whole life for this. Let's go. Well, there's a man who answered that call, and it's starting to look like. He's playing with some urgency. And he had key on him that time, too. Could elevate a little bit. I liked it. He, I liked it, though, how he took the ball off the dribble, got some rhythm into that jump shot. A bad two-point shot for Culver. A little nickel dimer on the cut. I think it was Corpu. They needed this badly right here. Culver has to get going. That's not an easy shot. Oh. Key had great defense contesting. <laughs> you know what? One thing, when we're in these dome stadiums, it's kind of hard to describe. We're like in a dugout, so we can't <laughs> see the three-point line. It looked for a moment like maybe that was way outside, obviously well inside the arc. And Corpru picks up his first at 50 to 43. 
field goal percentage tonight, 49% by Virginia. It's been a long time since anyone shot 50% against Texas Tech. There's that little elbow, little screen, a diagonal cut to the basket. This is a nice little formation. Didn't get anything out of it. Jerome fades along with it. Look at that follow. Almost by Key, and he's going to be, well, they got a tie up. He is aggressive on the offensive glass, though. That's what you got to do with Tech. But if you get good shots, you got the ability to follow. Well, I love the multiple efforts here. Key going after that initial rebound. Doesn't get it, but goes back that second jump and forces that jump ball. Possession Cavaliers. He getting a lot of minutes tonight. Hunter warming up. Big second half. You don't have a center on the floor, so to speak. Jerome. What a shot from the corner. Oh, what a pass. Nylon complimented. Woo, a little spice. From the same corner, which he was fouled at the end of the Auburn game, at the other end. Rebound to Virginia. They do a great job with the guards, collectively pushing the ball yes. to a teammate. But just a great find, and the one thing, Jerome, any type of pass. Hunter with Owens. Oh, didn't have to reach in, but this would get you free and happy, wouldn't it, Grant? That's number four on Owens. <laughs> Off the dribble. Ooh. What I love there, he realized he had Owens on him, didn't settle, attacked. He's going to have to pay taxes in Minnesota for that corner. <laughs> he owns that left throughout his career. Man. Virginia shooting 64% in the second half. They were due for a good shooting performance, have not shot well collectively throughout the entire tournament, turning it on here in the second half at the right time. Against a team that had not allowed, has not allowed a team in the last 45 games to shoot 50 from the field. They need some stops back to back. Oh, nice hands. Cover. It's Peretti. Wiggles his way to the basket. They do hit a size differential. It's their defense set up. A little 2 2 1. You just can't speed this team up. Look how quick you have to close. He's got those long arms yes, for deflections. Quick hands. Three pointer. And an individual battle. Ready. Trying to shake off Clark. Gets free for two more. Give it up to Odiase, though, with that big screen and wide body. Created that lane for Clark. Excuse me. From Moretti down the lane. Intensity picking up for Texas Tech at this end of the floor. And this is where they hang their hat, this end. Mooney now on Guy. Don't forget, he lulls. Stay at home. Pass to Jerome with two. One to shoot. Fade away. Oh. That's a big one. <laughs> he likes those short clocks. Oh, he sure does. Oh, man. He means he can go one-on-one. -on -one. He just thrives <laughs> in that situation. He really does. Coach can't holler at him at that point <laughs> in the game. <laughs> Over. Count it. No, it was oh, a no, charge. That was a charge. Yeah. I thought yeah, waving called. off the basket, calling it on Culver. Thought the first signal was the basket counts, and look at that holding his ground I think key. Was, I think it was the right call. It though. was the right call. It. it looked at first like he motioned like an and one right there. It did. Gene? He, he actually punched, meaning charge, but he didn't give it the explicit move. Yep. Gene territory, you agree with that one? Totally agree with that call, Jim. That's a good call, yes. Gene's agreed with everything we've said. Let's go to dinner, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll pick up the tab, okay. That sounds good. Yeah. Enjoying life on the road that way, huh? Bad. It's the NFL for him. Mama D inside. I'm already. We're getting some good rest, too. Mark. Two to shoot. 
Guy has to put up the desperation. Look at this. Under the rim. Has a chance. <laughs> the desperation. I thought it'd go. What do you say? Held up. Got the under eight with an eight point margin as the whole season for college basketball is coming near the end. It was a Virginia lead of three at halftime as you see the game summary. Second half lead has swelled to as much as 10. Both teams shooting 57% this half. It's eight at the moment. How does Texas Tech get back into this game, Bill? I think defensively they got to do obviously some stops, no question about it. And I think they've gotten accustomed now to turning the corner, moving going side to side and attacking off that dribble. Some good cuts. That's certainly going to help as they did, and he got the foul. I feel like for the Red Raiders, it's too much one-on-one -on -one isolation. I like to see that motion offense, get that defense moving from side to side, and then attack off the dribble. And a fresh hunter on the floor, Jim. Mooney to inbound. Francis, who's led them in this game with 13. The defense makes you use a lot of clock. Good help. The Akite. Ryan, loading, hitting again. Boy, he's had some game, hasn't he? What do you need, coach? Big time bounce. Six out of nine from the field. And they've been effective with the dribble. Playing his last game in a Red Raider uniform. Hunter looking to post up. They're standing quite a bit, Grant, aren't they? A lot of movement right here. Texas Tech turned up the, the defense, but Jerome. Oh man, <laughs> he's that. He's got that great size to dominate. Great feel for distance. Knockdown, big time. 14 points, six assists, four rebounds. Look at that footwork. Culver got around him and got the putback. Sure. That was great defense. Just sure. better offense right yeah. there by Culver. Elevation by Culver, too. Six point game, six minutes to go. They're post rubs right now. Tying up guy. Jump ball. Wow, they don't call it. Would have gone the other way on the arrow. Nice rebound. Hunter waits, backs in, basket goes. Oh. We talked about toughness on the open. Personified on that particular play. You got a right to show those muscles. Boy, it seemed like that might have been a tie-up yeah. situation. Boy, that was close and just great pursuit. Really carving out area with a chance for a number, another one. Well, that's what you expect from a kid of that talent, don't you? And that is the here's the tie-up. That was the fifth foul on Owens. Yeah, I thought it was very close to being a jump ball right there. Tariq Owens fouls out. The graduate senior graduated at St. John's after leading, leading the Big East in blocks the last two years and such a big part of their story. And to admire his courage, that injury that he had the other night. In the boot. To to play, I didn't you? think he'd be able to play at all. Play tonight wasn't quite the same, but it was admirable in his effort. That's a nice shot there. That's what it's all about. One of the fine coaches with one of his kids who toughened it out. Look at the second half performances. First against Auburn. Didn't miss from the floor. Hasn't tonight. Four out of four field goals. Misses the chance to get the three-point play. Here's the screen's great. Little flare for Moretti. Over Jerome. And again, that bench. How about that? Edwards again. That was not an easy shot right there. Great off the bounce with his pull-up knockdown. 
Edwards with 10 on the night. Small ball out here. Lunchtime, Grant. Stolen away! But the ooh, Clark almost came up with it. He sure did, but Cobra was able to shield him away with the body. Moretti. And it's all there for Key to take it down. Well, at the five-minute mark on Saturday, it was a 10-point lead for Virginia. And then all of a sudden, nothing went its way. Timeout called here by Jerome and the Cavaliers with 4.47 to go. Tell you, DeAndre Hunter, this second half performance has been spectacular. Inside, outside, on the glass, get it to the free throw line. His energy, his enthusiasm, and his play has his team here in control, Rav. And you know, Jim, you hit it on the head, too, going to that timeout. I think the coach realized, Tony Bennett, listen, this has happened to us before. We were comfortable, got a little fat, and uh, we just can't let it happen again. I love his adjustments playing small, though. Of course, Diakite on the floor now at the center spot. Less than five minutes away. If they can pull it off, it would just be a storybook ending, a full year. A story that uh, is just one of the amazing ones. From arguably the worst loss in the history of the tournament to a championship. That's what they could pull off if it goes their way. Jim, we were there. I mean, we felt it and it was devastating, but how they have bounced back. And Texas Tech's going to see what they can. This is where they resort to getting back in the game. Toughness at this end. Short clock. Five. He's got elevate. He's got size. Three to shoot. Working on Mooney. Short with it. Tapped over to Odiose. And there's a lot of time left here for the Red Raiders. They don't have to try to get it all back in one possession. Just execute your offense. Not, not too much one-on-one -on -one play. Mooney, three, yes! Lance, he got, got it going late. His the biggest shot of the night, Red. Oh. First field goal since five minutes to go in the first half. And that was a tough shot right there. Not an easy one. This will test your poise now. They got experience. Three guys who can handle it and make good decisions. And Hunter on the block. Well, they had it, but didn't get it in. Jerome, as we said, likes this spot. Four to shoot. Not this time. And look oh. at that rebound. Francis. Big time. Snatch. He has played magnificently. Over with the dish. Odiasse! And one! He can tie it at the line. They are sensational with their interior passing. Gorgeous. Draw. Dish. Finish. Woo. A little lingerie on the deck. Good not call. The slip. The ability to ring the bell. What a kiss. Good Texas Tech. Down 10 with nine and a half remaining at 53-43. And one shot at the line by Norens Odiase, the senior captain, can tie it right here with 3.28 on the clock. Nodded at 59. Tracy, over to you. Well, thanks a lot, Jim. Tony Bennett all game long deferring to his team, asking them what they want, what they like, what plays they want to run. His final word to them, bother shots, rebound, value each possession. And they've got to get into things quicker. They've been late in the shot clock without running their action. Passed up opportunities, particularly to get it to Hunter. Once again, under 10. Needing help, back to Guy. He'll put it up. Looking for the bounce. But a rebound again. Mamadi able to get the offensive glass in a reach-in call against Tech. He has done that all tournament. Timely offensive rebounds. Of course, that tip against Purdue on the free throw line, but right there, just his will and desire and being strong with the basketball. This yeah. will be a one-and-one one coming up for Mamadi Diakite. 71% free throw shooter. You can't teach that. That's just, that's just desire right it there. It is. He got up, timed it beautifully. So clutch in this tournament. Unperturbed. Laurel Bennett. 
Tatum. He met her when he was playing for the Charlotte Hornets. She was the assistant youth minister at a church he attended. Now parents of two. Got them both. How about that kid? Yeah, that's got to be painful sitting there. No question. Oh. He, is, he is in pain. As anxious as it gets. He's trying to stay stone faced. Over. Wanting it. Driving. Oh, Tough shot. Great defended thing. well by Hunter, but he didn't pick it up. And a reach in on Virginia. Might be guy on the top side, but Hunter did a great job. They just didn't finish the deal. I think number three on Guy. Excellent defense. And just terrific pursuit here. We'll give Culver credit. Didn't give up on the play. His active hands right there. Getting the steal. Getting to the free throw line. Tonight, all new Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Executive producer Chris Licks got them all lined up tonight, including Zach Galifianakis. Later in the week, Michelle Williams, Anderson Cooper, and from Blue Bloods, Donnie Walpert. Back to a tie. Once again, they put that pressure on, make them use clock, and Virginia is so accustomed to being sound at the end of shot clock. It's got to be a little more of a hurry. Hunter. That's his spot now. Got to give him room to go. Looks so right. Takes the jumper. Hits the oh, jumper. Oh, Big oh. time early dagger. Oh, way to step up, young man. They got into it quicker. They got to do that. Tough mismatch there. Over with a three for the lead. A little bit of a settle. Diakite showing big. Moving large. Inside two minutes, two point lead and possession. Virginia should go back to that play. Oh, Hunter yeah. on the elbow. They are. Driving. Shut off. Nice Bounce cut. pass. God. Oh, what a cut. <laughs> Gorgeous dive to the rim. And the acknowledgement. It wasn't an easy finish right there either by God. <laughs> Good assist by Key. Moretti. Oh, wow. <laughs> the one how good is he becoming timeout <laughs> forget low scoring <laughs> ready for 91 <laughs> more seconds of madness coming up next good all of tonight's highlights and analysis the trophy presentation and of course one shining moment on inside March Madness presented by Buick uh, just a gorgeous opportunity dive, and as you mentioned, not an easy goal. Use the right hand. And right back, watch Moretti steps on Jerome's foot, lost his balance. That created a little space right there in separation, and tough shot by Moretti. Jerome inbounds. Making Hunter bring it up. Watch cover, good hands, quick feet. Airtight defense, picking him up way outside. Already on Guy. That's what they need right here. Hunter slipping as he drives. Oh, nice and blocked by Oriase. And it belongs to Texas Tech. Yeah, good call, too. They're going to take a check, though. It's a nice play right there, but Hunter did slip. Great weak side action coming over for the block. Oriase. Well, really alert, too. We're going to the monitor, double check that it was touched last by Virginia. I, I think Michael Stevens got it right yes. from my seat, anyhow. From that angle, for sure. Didn't seem to touch Mooney's leg. Oh, that's Ooh, a better wow. view. Wow. Wow. And that's why Mama D was so certain. Yeah. He at least yeah. trying to make a plea. And Jim, while they sort this out, how about this crowd and the reception? You know, this city, no attachment to either club. It is amazing. Ooh, does it hit the back it, of uh, his hand after it looked, is touched by Diakite? Did it look like it might have hit the back? You're of, right, Jim. Noren's right. Did it touch him? Did he touch it right there? Oh, I think he did. The palm. That is wow. close. Uh, they can't. They, it's indisputable. Uh, they've got to go with the call. Ooh. 
It's that replay before this one where you could see with the high speed cameras, you could see that it's very close to hitting the back of Noren's hand. Right here, just bring in there. Hey, Ray, coming up here, Gene Steratore. Most importantly, guys, we have to remember now that the ruling on the court is Texas Tech's ball. So as we get into the replay language of this, we have to have something clearly indisputable to flip this. It does appear like Odeasi's hand may be touching the back of the, of the ball, but it is not 100% conclusive. They're going to stay, stay with, with Texas Tech. Yeah, they're going to stay with it. and going to stay with the call on the court. Sixty-eight seconds. They got spread floor with shooters. And they got the ability to dribble drive too. Your Modi Moretti can put it on the deck, and of course Culver, he's way in the corner off the ball. He should surface to the top of the key and probably attack with Hunter. Right now, it's just personal defense right here, taking the pride. Francis and Edwards, not afraid of the moment. You got to defend those two as well. If you're Virginia, he's got to pay attention to Francis in that far corner. Culver, back outside with it. Pass almost picked off. Now with 10 to shoot. Step back shot. shot. Tapped around. Guy has it. Jump ball. Up. Ooh, jump ball. The arrow belongs to Texas Tech. They call a jump ball. Good call. Good call right there. Both guys going after it. Kyle Guy, I thought he secured the rebound. Now all ball, though, by four hands. Yeah. What effort. Gene Steratore, what do you see there? It's a really good call, guys. Michael Stevens comes in. It's four hands, as Raf said, on that basketball tied up. He comes in strong and gives a jump ball. It's a great job. All right, got a 30, of course, on the shot clock. 42 seconds, game clock. Watch the inbounder. Out to the star, the Big 12, player of the year. On the ACC's top defender, in the paint, puts it up for the lead. Unbelievable use of the left hand. He's been quiet, not anymore. Corver, Corver stepping up at the right time, using the left. A little kiss or a smooch. Great finish. Coming out of a Texas Tech timeout, I see the 66 next to its name, and I think of the only national champion ever from the Lone Star State. Glory Road, Texas Western, 1966. This could be the second ever National championship to the state of Texas, but we got 35 seconds to go. Virginia ball. It's got to go through the big guy, number 12, Hunter, at some point. See if they go to their old basic baseline rubs. You know they like the corner jumper for Guy. The ability to get in the lane, of course, by Jerome. Jerome driving. Jerome floater off the glass. No! Rebounded by Texas Tech. Senior captain. That's Jerome's shot, though. And usually he attracts a little more attention, and he gets some weak side rebounding. I think he got caught between glass and dead on. I thought he was driving to look to pass, but no one was open. Had to settle for that little floater, which we've seen him make plenty of times. Be a one and one for Norens Odiase, the senior from Fort Worth, fifth-year senior pursuing his master's. Nobody from Tech on the line. How about that? The big guy stepping up. Low percentage. Not mad at Jerome, though, for going quickly on that play. Yeah. Worst case scenario, it's still the one possession game from Absolutely. UVA. And regardless of if you go, if he makes this one, I think he's still pushing it to quick, too. Takes his time. Oh, no. How about this kid? Last seven points to the Red Raiders. Got to go fast. Jerome gives it up. Far side. Hunter oh, hits the three to tie it. Oh, what? oh, my goodness, with 12 seconds remaining. What a kick and find. 
Eight seconds, they're going to play it out. Culver pulls up three, off the mark, rebound, Hunter. They look for a timeout. They look for a timeout, didn't go with the ball. A guy, guy was pointing for the timeout, they threw the ball to him. And Hunter, yeah, he tried to set an outlet past the guy. All he had to do was hold the basketball in that scenario. Worst case, three seconds oh, oh, left yeah, in oh, overtime. Overtime. Exactly. But you secure the rebound here. Great job. Now watch this, the pass. He, he's calling timeout. The ball goes behind him. Ball is not possessed. Gene Steratore when he's calling the timeout. That's exactly right, Jim. With that ball loose like that, you cannot grant the offense or, the, or Virginia a timeout in that case. They're going to look now to see when this basketball actually touches out of bounds. There's going to be make more sure time. the time's correct. There's yes. going to be more time. I don't I think any nine, doubt. Uh, nine or a second. Looked like Hunter, nine. as he rebounded, though, lost his balance and had to try to get rid of the ball so he wouldn't walk. But still, uncharacteristic right there, UVA. Well, they did bump there, too. I think it was key. They've added two tenths of a second. They got one second. Now they can get a good shot on this. This is a catch. You can actually bounce it quickly once for a pull up. So maybe some sort of a pin down. They're going for a full timeout now, I believe. How about Texas Tech's call on a timeout? How about the jumper in the corner? <laughs> Goodness. Well, that was just a fantastic play there by Jerome finding open. Hunter right there for that three. Not great defense on that play. Jerome just gets to the paint. The help comes. Hunter continues with his great play in the second half. Knocks down that corner three. And what, what, what happens a lot, great defense sometimes over helps. A good reaction because of the dribble. You're looking to help your partner out for a wide open. Knocked down jumper. And now conversely defensively. Culver, I would think, was going to get a touch here. He's the one guy. And don't forget Mooney loves that deep step back jumper. If they can get him a pin down, catch, turn, and shoot. Obviously for Texas Tech, watch some sort of action where a ball screener sets a back screen and then slips to the basket for an easy layup. Right now for Virginia defensively. You switch everything on the perimeter. I think you have to at yeah. this point, don't you? And Virginia survive another heart-stopping moment. Boy, they have been riding on the <laughs> crest here. Edwards, the freshman, is going to be on the floor for Texas Tech. Moretti, the great shooter. It's really not a lob type of team either, though. Right? You know, back screen. That, that, that guy that does set the back screen, though, frequently can step to that basketball as well. Mooney's going to inbound it. And Key, a big presence, is going to guard that inbound throw. And Moretti might get some sort of a pin down. He'll inbound it. Well, Virginia wants another timeout. And take a look at the set. You come back with something different if you think so. I mean, maybe set a different realignment, but maybe the same philosophy. And, and coaches in these plays, they work on this all year in the game yeah. situations. And the practice, too. Exactly. This looks like he might be changing it, though. Looks like he is changing it. I noticed how Tony Bennett took out Clark as similar sized players on the court. They switch on the defensive end. As you said, he got just a little bit of time for a quick touch. Maybe something from Mooney capable of getting a quick shot off of Moretti. He was taking it out, so it's interesting. I don't know if you have enough time to give it back. They're going to stay with Mooney yeah. as the inbounder. A different set now. Here we go. Could now Edwards is out high. The Akite uh, comes out to pick him up. The inbounds throw, looking for something. To the corner, Culver yeah. shot blocked by Key, and we have overtime for the national championship. How good is this? Never packed the tag, Texas Tech. Woo! And it's only fitting right here that Virginia gets a great stop on the defensive end. Key makes a clean block. We got overtime. All right. Buckle it up, boys. The eighth time a title game goes to overtime. The first time 
since 2008. And let's bring in Gene Steratur. Gene, if they're the Texas Tech faithful, are saying, wait a minute, Virginia got the call the other night. What about this one? What do you say? You know, if you look, you see Key get hand right on the ball there, and as it comes back down, there's nothing really there that would constitute a foul. It's a really good no call, in my opinion, from the officials. And he was able to land too. Exactly. Kyle was it? Exactly right. First overtime since Kansas beat Memphis down in San Antonio in the Alamo Dome. 08. Virginia likes to make him interesting. That they do. It's <laughs> <laughs> an understatement. Guy. He's covered by Francis. Gonna put up the shot. And nice runner. Rebound. The long arms got the rebound. Much more of a factor tonight. That was actually a good good block out there by Culver. Yeah. The ball came long. Nice job, really. Leaning over. Having those three or four inches certainly helped. They are a great blockout team, too. That is what we call a 7-4 wingspan <laughs> without committing a foul. And on Colbert number two. So one one. And has he been something else since halftime? Mm. Hey, hey, hey. Texas Tech has a little swing going now, though. They got a little rhythm in their offense. Found a way with the dribble drive. Diving a little bit more. More motion. Two for two. And of course, Culver's stepping up a little bit. 24 now for DeAndre Hunter. 19 coming in the second half in overtime. Already likes to dribble drive if he gets an opportunity where they kicked him for a three. Mooney. Oh, man. There we go. Oh. He hit one like that that really fueled that comeback. They when they were down six. They may forget him at Air Force in South Dakota. They won't forget him at Texas Tech. Battles out, and it goes to Texas Tech. I can't believe this young man was only had one scholarship offer from Air Force. The way he has played here at the Final Four, nice little jab step, squares up, great rotation, and a little nylon, as you say, Coach. One year at Air Force, then graduated from University of South Dakota, where he was All Conference. Alma mater of Tom Brokaw and the former host of our tournament coverage, Pat O'Brien. That shot, no good. That's the first time they ran that horn set to the clear to the wing. Culver got a good look. Great D there by Key. Now, Jerome, nice has stutter step. Yeah, it's Hunter off his knee, lost it off the knee, and picked up by Mooney. Francis. Looking for a ball screen at the top, but they get a nice cut by Mooney. Mooney, three around them, looking for help. They'll take the shot instead. And got the double bounce. They sort of left the ball a little bit. Whew. Perseverance. Three point lead for Tech. Really force you deep in the. Oh, I watch that arm. Got a trip, unfortunately, Moretti. Yep. And that will be the double bonus, so it'll be two at the line for Guy. He knows how to shoot free throws at this rim. This didn't pursue the ball. <laughs> Mooney's so tough in this lane. We've seen this throughout the tournament. Little sweet caress. Very sweet. For the Texas Tech Red Raiders, so Guy to shoot two. Talking to him about the three that he made at the end of the Auburn game. He said today, his first thought was, I'm either going to make one or I'm going to make three. And then he said, <laughs> after the Tracy, I was frightened. Yeah, terrified. <laughs> terrified, right? Two for two. Down to one. Now with Mooney playing so well now, they've got three options on the wing and then a kick to Francis if needed. That little yo yo, they used to use the post guy. Good driver. We're ready. Tough shot. Rebound bounces out to Jerome. And Key did a great job on Odiase there, blocking him out. 
zone look now. I know the shooters. Yeah, they really do. They've been able to get through the cracks, too. The show zone and get to that man. Hunter hit the shot at the end of regulation. Oh, just and a, does it again. Oh, the Aussie just didn't cover, didn't communicate. And Hunter stepping up big time. Well, they come back from three down to put up five unanswered to take a two pop lead. Inside two minutes, Culver puts it on the hit. And Mamadi says, get that out of here. Not in my neighborhood. His quickness on ball coverage and the reaction here. Big John Thompson looking over there saying he should have kept it in play. <laughs> <laughs> he had guys that could. Culver. Nice D. Mooney, who's heating up, looks up. The clock sees he's under 10. Oh. Way outside. Oh, Obviously, good D. The initial D by Hunter was special in Culver. Down at this end, Hunter has a new career high with 27. Raph, right now, the, the offense for Virginia has just been pro the probing of Jerome getting into the paint and creating opportunities for the shooters on the perimeter. Getting late again. Jerome. The floater hasn't worked the last three times. Ball bounces out, picked up by Moretti, and it's out of bounds staying at this end. That was Hunter reaching in and knocking it out. Already show some speed right there. They want to look at it again. I think they got it right, though. Yeah. I thought Hunter could have gotten that at half court, by the way. Didn't you? If he really ran after it. Yeah, I think they got the right call. Gene, you don't see anything there dif different, do you? I don't see anything there that jumps out at all. No, that just looks like a, a, a ball out of bounds for Texas Tech right now. They may be looking at clock, though, Jim. You know what I mean? We've got to look at everything we can. And if they're going to go over to look at something, you always want to double check right now uh, with the clock scenario as well. Watch the very end of this. Does it slide off Moretti's finger last? He's got his hand on the top of the ball, shoved out. Wow, you would be right, Jim. Remember now, though, we see the top of Moretti's hand. We don't know if there's space between that finger and the basketball. And, you know, at times, guys, I will tell you, when you start running replay really, really slow, you get a little bit of distortion in there as well. So you've got to be cognizant to that. It's tight, though. It really is close. I thought Let's he take a look it. here. The more I looked at it, Gene. Yeah, yeah. I thought he touched it there, that, last, tight. that last angle. The replay before this one. Let's take a look at this one. This one's a pretty good shot. Ooh. Did it yeah. come right down the ball? I think it comes down to at what point right does here, Hunter Jay. hands leave? Yeah, and it looks like Hunter's hand is away from the ball when Moretti still has it, you know, above him. Now we know from the other angle that Moretti's fingertip was touching that. This is really a close play. What? Already with three lead changes in the overtime. Well, they sort this out. Coaches are able. Well, I, I would say. Well, guys, when I see this one from the baseline, end. this angle right here from the baseline, this puts Moretti's pinky on it. Now, yeah. what the officials are too, it's two will look. If they're really indecisive or having some discussion on this, they'll go to the third and then they'll consult. It's Virginia they ball. Returned it. Virginia That's ball. That's a heck of a job of officiating by this crew, guys. A really good job. A great job. Now you got to set your defense if you take a step. Get ready. How are you going to handle it? Looks like they're going to back up and play half court. All you got to do is get a stopper here. Yeah, in plenty situation. of time. Plenty sure. of time. Expect Jerome to. Try to continue to penetrate, stay at home with shooters. That's why I think you got to get Hunter involved a little bit now. Get away from Jerome. Now yeah, they stepped it up tall. A minute to go. And Key, an excellent offensive rebounder, too, on the floor. Of course, we know. The Akite sensational as well. And the clock, the clock is their friend right now, Virginia. 
Use the clock to their advantage. With seven. Pops around Mooney, lays it in one. Oh, oh. He'll shoot a couple. Boy, they opened the middle. They hadn't done that in quite a while. Uh, not what you'd call a blow-by, but just great pace. And now, turn up the energy and get to the rim. Ref, you have to respect his three-point shooting. Yeah. So crafty, like you said, the change of pace, herky-jerky. Gets to the rim. He should have made that layup yeah, right there. Disappointed, I'm sure. Jerome, who used to be coached by his father, Mark, all the way through the eighth grade. His dad took him to a couple of Final Fours when he was a young boy. 2010 in Indianapolis was there to see the Hayward heave that nearly dropped. And then the next year down in Houston when UConn won. They were in the upper deck. And now he's on the floor and helping Virginia to a 7-0 run. Uh, just go get something going to the hoop. Outsides. Barely. Key with the rebound. Yeah. Ooh. Well, they got what they wanted to. Francis with a great look. I don't know how Culver found him there in that yeah. situation. And Francis has knocked down shots all night. I think Culver had to with the big guys surrounding him at the rim. I think this kid loves these moments. Oh, no, he does now. Now that he's got the all-timer behind him, yeah. he's faced that adversity. Did nothing like that again. Remember when he told us back in Columbia, South Carolina, going into the first game against Gardner Webb. We don't want to forget about UNBC what happened, but we want to move past it. And they are 31 seconds away from one of the great turnarounds in any sport. Here is Tough Culver, shot. way off. Tough shot. Uh, they lived it for a long time, Jim. They not only lived it for a long time, they had to come out and play Gardner-Webb in the first round of the tournament, and they found themselves 14 down in the first half, uh, six down at halftime. I mean, it was all mental. That Gardner-Webb team had beaten a couple of ACC teams during the season on the road, and they were good. They were a good 16. And Jim, we were there last year at UMBC. It felt the same that first half against Gardner-Webb, but... That was the moment of truth for them. They turned it around. They've had stellar play all tournament since then. But to go through the tournament, I mean, Purdue had them all but beat. Kihei Clark chases down the tap into the backcourt and somehow has the presence of mind not to launch it from midcourt, but to find Diakite for the runner at the buzzer to send it to overtime. Then what happened, of course, here Saturday against Auburn. Hmm. Scored Auburn six to one in the last seven seconds. And guy with that three and then the three free throws. And you know, this is a tribute to character. The coach, the team, they live with this. And of course, bemoaned it all year long. Just an incredible Ooh. attitude, stick to itness. Amazing. That basket right there stops an 11 nothing run for Virginia. Just 17 seconds to go. That was the last time out for the Red Raiders. In that loss last year, Grant, Tony Dungy sent Tony Bennett, just recently even, a text and said he admired just how he handled that defeat, the grace in defeat. And Tony had called it a painful gift, one that brought him closer to his faith and family. And Tony Dungy knows what it was like in 2005 with his Colts. They lost to the Steelers. They were the number one seed in the mm -hmm. AFC playoffs. Came back the next season in 2006, won the Super Bowl against the Chicago Bears. Looks like the same thing's going to happen here tonight with the Virginia Cavaliers and Tony Bennett. Two similar men right there. And of course, Texas Tech now extending the floor. They're going to try and simulate a steal and then a giveaway. Do you see the emotion on the faces of the Virginia players going to that bench? Look Up ahead, they've got Key. Say goodnight. And dunks it down. Eight points in front. You might say the key to victory is perseverance. Facing adversities over and over again and climbing the mountain. Eight seconds. Just amazing, Kyle. Look at a guy and all the things he said he went through. Living in picture on the wall and carrying this. 
I mean, it's it's going to take a while to get back to the promised land, and boy, did they! I'll tell you, Chris Beard, after watching and being around him this week, there's a program there that's going to be around for a long time. They're, they're going to be something to deal with for a long time with that coach. He is a big time keeper. Virginia has now hit 13 free throws in a row, including now 11 of 11 in overtime. Final seconds playing out. End of a fabulous tournament. Rebound into the hands of Hunter. And Virginia with the all-time turnaround title. other way it would have to be another one where you'd have to just sweat it out if you're a Virginia fan there's no story like this in my memory in college basketball no. you get off the deck and you say this to young people like look you're gonna handle the bumps in the road not a bump like that amazing you talk about worst to first in professional leagues coming out of the bottom of a division like in the NFL of be a four-team division, of course, in that league. Right. Be. Baseball, whatever, bigger divisions. But we're talking about the most humbling loss you could ever imagine. The overall number one seed a year ago, and to come back and then face all these little moments in this year's tournament and always find a way to prevail. Amazing. Amazing indeed. I mean, devastating last year. The number one overall seed making history, losing the way they lost to UMBC, bouncing back. You talk about character, you talk about faith, you talk about a team mentally tough. And no matter what they did this year, it was always about what are you gonna do in the tournament? And they've done it here tonight. Fabulous shot of Tony's mom and dad. Coach Dick Bennett, his mother Ann, so glad his father was here today. He has suffered, he just has such a hard time being able to deal with all the anxiety of watching his son team play. He was there at the regional after not being there rounds one and two. He saw the two games in Louisville. Decided he just couldn't take it. He's sat in the hotel here in Minneapolis on Saturday. But he gets to be here tonight to see his boy win a national championship. A coach's son, a student manager when he started his career. And just a, we were there at that loss. And we can't get over it. Imagine that. Carry this whole year. It's over now. Yeah. Who's number one? <laughs> the Wahoos of Virginia. What a tournament. Never fails to deliver. And it's done it again for Bill, Grant, Tracy, Jim Nance saying so long from Minneapolis. Virginia is your national champions.